Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna. We are here for the Stitch Fix Part 2 to see how it works out with cowboy boots. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you didn't see Part 1 for the Stitch Fix, I am trying some new things because my fashion hasn't always been really elaborate. I mean... Or good. Oh, it's, it's kind of true. I mean, I'm a frugal guy. As long as it comes to cowboy boots, that's where it starts. And then after that, it's really whatever works for me. Um, and what I can usually find at thrift stores and things. So doing Stitch Fix is completely out of the box for me. Like out of my comfort zone whatsoever, which is why I invited my wife, Brenna, to be in this series with me to help me through the process of actually finding new and different things for me. So, we're gonna see how Stitch Fix did this time. How did you feel like they did the first box for uh, me? Well, you're, you're plain, but you're picky. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really tough. I would give them probably a C, but it was the first one. That's what I said too, it's like, uh, there's a lot of things in here that are sort of out of the price range. They're just like, mm, I'm not sure I'm so excited about them, except for that one shirt, that green one. That was a good that shirt. That was a good shirt, and I actually really like that shirt, and I've worn it several times since then. So let's see if they did any better on this second box. Bam! Ooh, I can already see some jeans in here. Ooh. Okay, so last time I actually missed the fact that they have all the prices and stuff in here on this envelope. All I right. love how they wrap it up. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so here's Stitch Fix box number two. Let's start out with the first shirt here. The first shirt is this Far Lane shirt with like little white dots on it. Far lot, fair lane. It's fair lane slim shirt. But I like the size and I like the color. So we'll see how this goes. It's kind of spastic on the eyes with all the dots. Yeah, I can only imagine what it's looking like on camera. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit spastic, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, let's check out. Is it soft? It is pretty soft. It feels like a dress shirt. It's very thin, cottony. Yeah. Maybe good for summertime. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how that goes, and we'll see the price and everything after I try it on. So that's what we'll actually do this time. Look at this folding, people. That's how I fold things. Next up is this solid t-shirt. It's like the shirt you're wearing. It's almost like the shirt that I'm wearing. Look at this. It's a solid, like, burgundy, would you say? Yeah. T-shirt from Algo, number one. On camera, it looks a little bit different, but you guys... It's nearly it's the same. It's almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> I like this color, though. It's a good color for me, I think. I'm a fan of reds and burgundies. Um, I mean, my suit for the wedding was like a wine burgundy color. Mm -hmm. So I'm you a fan of good. this color. Yeah. Um, it says uh, Peter Performance V burgundy. It doesn't... Oh, I it's, guess it it's has got a, a nice weight to it. Performance feel to yeah. it. Yeah, it's a V-neck. Uh, slickness. Yeah. Which kind of makes me scared because the reason why I didn't get the t-shirt out of the last box was because it was 30 some dollars. Well, this one says it's made from recycled water bottles, so I think it's going to be This is going to be another that. expensive one. But quick dry, moisture wicking, anti-odor, and SPF 40. Anti-odor. Anti-odor. I need dry. that. Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so quick fold and on to the next thing. Whoa! I like this pattern that here. Is zany. On this, this, what is it? Short sleeve button up from Aylesbury or Aylesbury. This is a cool texture here with some sort of flowers and junk. Ooh. What would you call this pattern? Um, 
I guess they're flowers, yeah. It's almost like a Hawaiian-inspired print, maybe? Except just monotone of it. But monotone, monotone yeah. Monotone Hawaiian. But this feels really nice. I like this shirt. For summer, this seems pretty incredible. Yeah, okay, this would so go it's... really well with black boots, too. 60% linen, 40% cotton. So linen is perfect for summer because you can really breathe. <sighs> I like the sounds of that. All right. <sighs> I'm excited to try this one. Quick folding job. On to the next thing. Bam. All right. Next up we have, what is this? A hoodie? Oh, it's a long sleeve lightweight hoodie. Oh, yeah. I have a, a shirt like this and you I'm kind of, I, I, I like it a lot, but this feels so much better than that one. Like this is such a higher quality, lightweight hoodie. This is the same material as the purple shirt. Yeah. Made from the recycled is water Is it the bottles. same people? I think so. Yeah, Algo. It's so Algo. soft. So soft. This is nice. A little bit of stretch to it. A little bit of stretch. This, is, this would be nice for like nighttime campfires. <sighs> yeah. Girl. I like it. I like this, this too. This is cute. It's a nice color. <clears throat> It's very, um, stealable. No! It's mine! <laughs> if we decide to keep it and the price tag isn't like out of this world. And, I want one like whew, this. here we go. We With got jeans. flag anthem jeans. Hmm. Okay. And they gave me 32, 36. So I should be able to stack these. And they're called the Nashville Straight. Flag and Anthem. I feel like I was looking at that company online the other day. I'm excited to try these. Dartmouth wash. The Dartmouth wash. They look huh? a little uh acidy, acid wash. Yeah, definitely Faded. acid wash, but um who was that really famous designer that uh and he had the ridiculous trucker hats and it was just ridiculous. It was like, oh, Van... Helsing. No. <laughs> I'll have to look it up and I'll remember. But it was just like absolutely ridiculous and everyone had them. Von Dutch. Von Dutch. Yeah. Do you remember that? Nope. Oh. Well, they had a lot of... <laughs> okay. Well, if anyone remembers Von Dutch, they had the ridiculous hats and they had pants that looked like this, except with like a little bit thicker, uh, like really extravagant threading and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But they were all about this like acid wash, kind of like broed out look. Cool. So. Well, either way, I'm excited to try these, no matter how broed out I look. So, let's do it. I'm gonna try this stuff on, then we'll decide what we're gonna keep. All right, so first up we have the Flag and Anthem Nashville Straight Jean. This is the 3236, and I'm gonna do a video about these separately so we can go through it with different sorts of boots and things and see how they look but right off the bat the cut is a little high on me like a, a little bit higher than what it usually is and it's not quite as long as a 3236 is from Wrangler which I'm appreciating the fact that I got the 3236 for that reason because it's like the perfect length I think but it's distracting with all these acid wash parts at the seams. I don't know, what do you think, Brenna? I don't like all of this and all of this. Like the acid wash is just a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. If they toned it back just a little bit, I think I would really like the color of them. But I'm not sold on the fit either. Like they seem really baggy through here. Yeah, up here, but I am like a slim dude, so. I know, but you have jeans that fit much better. Like, um, what was that last pair? The retro. The Wrangler retro skinny jean. Those on you, you look cute. Yeah, uh, girl. These are just a little baggy. They're not quite right. No, but... you don't think so? They are a little bit baggy in here specifically. Yeah. But I like the I like the the pale color on you. I think it's super classic, very Americana, which is always your look. Um, I like the length of them. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Some jeans that you have are too long. But. So what are they coming in for price wise? You're the got flag the and anthem Dartmouth straight fit jean in light blue size 32, 6950. 6950. Okay, so they're cheaper than what I thought they were gonna be. They have the look where they could be like 80 to 100 dollars. Yep. But they're sixty-nine dollars, you said. Sixty-nine fifty. Sixty-nine fifty. Seventy bucks. Okay, 
I'm not really feeling it for $70. I don't think I'll keep them for that. But they were nice to try, and I'll have to see what else they have in their lines to see if they have something that is more form-fitting to me up here in the top of my leg here at the thigh area because I'm just swimming up here. But down here, it seems like a good cut. So we'll see what comes from them in the future. Now let's move on to this orange light hoodie. The Wilson Performance Hoodie in burnt orange. So it feels great. Wow, the weight is nice. And I like the feeling and how soft it is. This is made from bottles. Mm -hmm. like bottle. I can't believe they can get this feeling from bottles. This is really nice. It's still light, but it's a little bit warm, but still breathable, which is why like, I thought it was gonna be perfect for those late night campfires where it gets a little chilly when the sun goes down. So all you need is something light. Um, when it gets dark, but I like the color too. But what's the price? Is it gonna be worth it? So the Wilson Performance hoodie is $52. This is 52 bucks, huh? But it is made from recycled water bottles. Yeah. So it's recycled. You're doing good for the environment if you were gonna get a hoodie, you know? It feels really soft. One thing that- Oh, there's an extra pocket in here. What? There's a secret pocket. Whoa, fun. That's fancy. What are you gonna put in it? I don't know. See? Can you see that secret pocket in there? I know what that secret pocket's for. If we're talking campfires. It's marshmallows? Where you, it's where you stick a marshmallow. Seems right. How does the hood fit? Does it fit hood fits head? well. It's got some drawstrings on it too, so you can really get, get cozy. cozy. With it. <laughs> but yeah. I like it. I don't know if I like it fifty-two dollars though. Turn this on, let me see how it fits width-wise. Oh yeah, no, that fits you really nice with a yeah. shirt underneath. Yeah, I think this would be nice. I'll have to consider it though, so let's let's come back to it. So what is this shirt? I like it already. That is the Alsbury Heron Lake Short Sleeve Linen BL. Linen BL, I like it. <laughs> the texture, pattern on it is really nice. It's super soft and it goes well with some black boots. It actually goes well with these pants too. Yeah, it does. It's a good outfit. Like this is a great outfit right here in and of itself. So I like it. What do you, how's the fit? How's the fit? Um, I think that fits good. Tuck it in. Let me see what it looks like tucked in because okay. you're a tucker inner. All right. Tucked in. Bam. Okay, not bad. Tucked in. How do I have as far as the, the cloud in the back is concerned? No, no, not much of a cloud. Okay. I think it looks good on you. I like the um, the pattern. Yeah, I like this pattern too, and it feels really soft. But what's the price? The price on that one is $55. This is $55? Yep. Oh, it's so sad. I just don't feel like it's worth $55. It's really nice, but I'm not feeling it for $55. What do you think? No, I think it's not perfect. I don't know that you would wear that pattern a lot. It is nice, but you like more fun shirts. Like uh, earlier today, you were in like a peach colored shirt. You have some that have like orange and yellow. And this one is kind of plain. Mm -hmm. If we're being honest, I like you in color. I don't know that black is is the thing that really sets you off. So. Yeah, I agree. Not worth $55. We're going to be sending this one back. All right, moving on to the Algo t-shirt. Right when I put it on, it just feels so nice. Like the fit feels perfect. It and the weight perfect. of it just feels great. Oh, it's like it, it sits and settles on you, but it's not like moving around like some cheap t-shirts do. This is a really nice feel, and I like the color of it too. This is the Algo t-shirt. What's the price? The Peter Performance V in burgundy, $29. $29, $30 for this t-shirt last week. I didn't go for the $30 t-shirt. I like the feeling of this, and I don't know if I want to spend $30 on this t-shirt still. <laughs> well, what are your thoughts? 
I mean, how many other performance certs do you have? Because that one's like moisture wicking and SPF and all that kind of stuff. Anti-odor, made from recycled bottles. Do you have like workout clothes? Because we do go on hikes and stuff and you're just wearing like whatever. Yeah, I don't have any. I, when I do those things, I usually just wear whatever. Like, I'm just a whatever kind of guy. I know. <laughs> I think this could be nice to add to your wardrobe, A, because it feels so soft. It's your color, it's super versatile. You could wear this underneath a uh, button up to a show, mm -hmm. but you don't have any performance clothing. And we do do performancey things. But do I need performance clothing for performancey things? I think it depends. How comfortable do you want to be? You know, when you get sweaty, are you okay with the sweat like just kind of sitting on you? Because I hate that feeling. Mm. I might have to try it for that reason because I've never really not felt all the sweat on me. <laughs> Now's your time. Hmm. We'll consider it and come back to it. <laughs> okay. This is nice. What is this? That is the Fairlane 24-7 shirt. 24-7 shirt. It is one that definitely has to be tucked in. I mean, it is so long. I would have to wear this tucked in. So, let's look at that. Tucked in. That and fits you so good. It fits me, yeah? What did you just say as I was tucking this in? I think you look like a fancy executive. You're ne you've never been the kind of guy to like dress up for work. You've never worked in a place that required that. So, and you don't really like to dress up a lot. It's not really your thing, which I mean, I don't really either, but this looks good on you. I want to see you like go to Wall Street and go be fancy somewhere. <laughs> I feel like this would go really well with a bolo tie too. Here it is with the bolo tie. I like the look of this. It looks great. It feels great too. Um, I don't think I could go wrong with this unless the price is outrageous. What are we looking at? This is a 24-7 shirt in navy, $68. $68. Yeah. Well, if I was an executive, I'd be able to do it. Yeah, you look like an executive, so it's got the executive price tag. Mm-hmm, it really does. Probably say no to this shirt, just because I already have one that's kind of like it already. It's almost exactly the same. It's yeah. the light blue undertone, and it just has a, a small white flower pattern. Yeah. It's almost the same look. Except that, that one might be a little bit more Western with the, that paisley, small paisley pattern or whatever it yeah, is, Yeah, the right? floral paisley kind of thing. Let's do the final rundown about what I'm gonna keep out of these things. This one was a 24-7 shirt. Send this back because at a $68 price tag, I really don't feel like it's worth it because I have another shirt that's kind of similar to this color scheme wise. This feels great, but like- If you didn't have that shirt, would you keep this? I think I probably would do something like that, yeah. yeah. But there's no reason to because I already have a shirt kind of like this. Moving on to the Algo shirt. This is $29, and I really like this. Is it worth the $30, though? Because it feels great, and it's got this moisture wicking thing going on that I'm kind of curious about trying in the summer months as we're out doing stuff. Well, think about it. I mean, if you're going to get a performance shirt from Nike or Athleta or... Under Armour? Under Armour. It's going to cost you $30 anyway. This one is at least made from recycled materials, so you could feel a little bit better about it. Although, who knows where it was made or anything like that, but... Well, thinking about this now, moving back to the other Algo shirt that we got, which is a long sleeve hoodie, pretty much the same material, except this is just heavier because it has more material. It's the same exact feel, same exact fabric. What is this going for? Because I don't feel like I should keep both of them. The orange one is 52. This is 52, this is 30. Hmm, I feel like I'll use the t-shirt more than this, especially since I already have sort of a light hoodie right now. I don't feel like I need two. So I think the only thing that I'm gonna keep out of this is this t-shirt, the Algo t-shirt. I'm gonna try it with the moisture wicking properties and we'll see what happens. All right, so for Stitch Fix this time around, how do you feel like they did? Well, I think you liked almost everything in the box. I did, it's just a little bit out of the price range. And we got a nice note here from Viv, who is my 
stylist, I guess, for Stitch Fix, and she wanted to know all about everything that I put in here, like even the traditional straight cut, she says, how's the leg opening with cowboy boots? So these are specifically designed after my notes. So I'm really impressed that it's not just some algorithm spitting out different sorts of notes based off of the notes that I gave it, but it seems like there's an actual person behind these things thinking about what they're going to send me, which I really like, because I don't put that much thought into my own wardrobe. So the fact that they are is really cool. <laughs> That's why you hired them, right? That's yeah. the point of the box. <laughs> I guess so. I, I guess so. So, yeah. And she took notes on the belt from last time. I saw you prefer a belt that allows you to swap out the belt buckle. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that type of style. So we'll see what happens. This is not the last box but I'm excited to see what comes in the next box, the third one, which will probably be my last one for this test stuff. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. So if the third one is not like on point 100% with a little bit cheaper things, and maybe if I come away with like two or maybe even three things, then we might stretch to a fourth box, but I'm expecting the next box to be our last one. Well, I mean, you can't really fault Viv. Shout out to Viv for doing an amazing job styling Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know that you had a shirt already like this. No. So she kind of nailed that. Right? I'm not faulting her at all. She did a great job. It's just like she doesn't know my body style. These pants were a great guess. Like everything that she sent me was a spectacular guess for a second box. Yeah, considering that she knows so little about you and she did so well means you're either hella basic Probably that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or? Or you just have a simple style, which is okay. Mm -hmm. And honestly, a lot of the pieces, like we talked about, you already have versions of. So she really did well. You just already have a version of that that isn't worn out yet. Yep. And you're not the kind of guy to get rid of something that isn't worn out yet. Mm -hmm. So she did well, honestly. It's true. I have clothes from 10 years ago that aren't worn out yet. So <laughs> I wear my clothes through and through. All right, what did you guys think of this Stitch Fix box number two? What was your favorite piece of clothing? And what do you think I should have sprung for that I didn't on this box? One more box to come. Stay tuned for the next one. Huge thanks to my wife, Brenna, for joining me and convincing me to buy at least one thing. <laughs> See you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Stitch Fix making progress on their delivery The jeans were close and I almost had those other styles already Still it's sweet that these were just made for me And I'm looking forward to the next box I can't wait to see No, my name is Jeremiah Craig Thank you for watching today Don't forget to like and subscribe Appreciate you tuning in today and I will see you next time.